Hi, my name is John Campbell and I work for Quest Solutions Technical Support Staff. We're going to be covering system setup and installation. We're now going to set up the roll-up digitizer board. The roll-up digitizer board has all its connections in one end of the digitizer board. The roll-up board can be turned in either direction. We have it turned with a silver bar on the left hand side. The first cable we'll be hooking up is the power supply. The power connector goes in the round receptacle on the digitizer board. Simply take the cable and insert it into the connector. The next cable we'll be hooking up is the computer interface cable. This cable has a phone jack connector on the end. Simply insert the connector into the board and you'll hear a click when it's inserted. The next cable we'll be hooking up is the stylus. The stylus is the last and final cable which goes into the end connector on the digitizer board. Simply insert it into the digitizer board and push until you hear the click. In the lower left hand corner of the digitizer board we need to digitize the lower the up arrow and the right arrow which sets the orientation for the digitizer board. After that we digitize an S01 which configures the digitizer board to use Windows software. Now that we have the cables connected to the digitizer board we'll go on and hook them up to the back of the computer. The first cable we'll be hooking up is the digitizer board cable. The digitizer board cable goes into a serial port or a communications port. This is a 9-pin mail port or a 25-pin mail port. Simply take the cable, insert it into the connector, and tighten the thumb screws. In case your computer happens to have a 25-pin mail port, simply take the 9 to 25 adapter that comes with your digitizer board, attach it into the 25 pin mail port and then attach the cable that comes from the digitizer board into the back of the 9 to 25 adapter. After you have that cable attached we're going to go on and hook up the additional peripherals which go with the computer. The first one we'll be hooking up is the keyboard. The keyboard connector is a round connector and we'll be plugging it into the connector which has a picture of the keyboard on the back of the computer. Simply take the cable plug in the cable into the back of the computer. The next one is the mouse. The mouse itself is additionally a round connector. Plug it into the back of the computer where it has a picture of the mouse. After you have that, the last cable that we really need to hook up is the power cable. Simply take the power cable and plug it into the receptacle. This is the Sentinel Pro hard lock. This device attaches to the parallel port of the computer. This is the copy protection for your software. It's very important that you do not lose this device. The Sentinel Pro hard lock will be attaching to the parallel port of the computer. It's possible that you may already have a printer attached to the parallel port of the computer. Simply unhook the cable from the back of the computer plug in the Sentinel Pro hard lock and then attach the printer cable to the back of the computer and tighten the thumb screws. This completes hardware installation. Now you need to go to software installation.